Hi everyone! Today we're going to make this cute little raspberry or strawberry pie. And um, in the world of miniatures, what I did is I looked around the house and I would see things that I knew I could transform. So for example, instead of making all those um, strawberries, I just saw the red beads and I thought, great! Raspberries, strawberries, whatever. And the bottom is a bottle cap. And then I also, um, after you bake the crust, then you put the berries in, but then I also um, kind of added with a brush some powder to give it a bit of a baked look. And you can also use eyeshadow. Buy some inexpensive eyeshadow, different colors, and those are great for painting your little objects. Okay, so we're going to start with some sort of beige colored Fimo and we need our bottle cap, that's the pie pan. And um, if you have a roller, something like this, or a pastel machine, you could use that or just use your hands to flatten this piece. And um, press away. Make sure you have a surface that you've covered with, I usually use uh, wax paper or tin foil. There we go. This is not the best surface to work on, but whatever. Now, make sure this is larger than your plate, pie plate. Stick it in there and just make sure you get it really close to the edge like that and then you can just gently tear off the femur like so. Okay. And just again make sure that's all nice and professional looking. We want these to look adorable and almost perfect. Almost ready to eat. Okay, so um, I always have toothpicks handy. Um, they're great little tools for all of these projects. So, and then just kind of make a little fluted edge or whatever you want. It's hard with your fingernails, but you know, just something that makes it look like a pie. Like that. So cute. And this is going to be the berry pie that I showed you before. Okay. Like that. Get the idea, right? See, look, bottom looks like a pie crust already. Yummy. And um, now, in the real world, you would go and bake this and. You may as well make a couple, or two or three at the same time so you don't waste the heat in your oven. Okay, so let's pretend this has been baked. Now, uh, you can use any kind of varnish or sometimes I've used um, transparent uh, nail polish, like up coat or top coat, um, and just pour a little bit in there. And then, Get your red berries, beads actually, but and pour those into that gloss. And then make sure they're all floating in there. And you can um, add a little bit of uh, more gloss on the top if you feel. There we go. Yeah, they're all covered. There we go. And okay, so that will take a few hours, but um, then it'll take a few hours to dry, I mean, not to make. And then I've got this powder, bronze powder, that's what this is. It's actually made for Fimo, and once it's baked, you can, um, it comes in many different colors too. And you can take that and just carefully uh, dust the edges so that it looks like it's been baked a little bit like that and um, like I said before 
inexpensive eyeshadow in, in a, you know from the drugstore or something like to get browns and beiges and greens and they're great to have handy for these kind of projects okay so there we have a cute little pie but what we could do that's why I said make three or four different crusts um, because you can add different colored beads. Uh, but anyway, we can kind of add the um, little pieces of crust on top. I don't know what it's called. Lattice or something like that. I haven't made too many pies. There. Okay. A couple more. Anyway, you get the general idea. You can decorate the top of your pie like that. Huh? Oh, cute, cute, cute. But do this once the beads have dried. Sorry about my phone. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. Somebody's texting or tweeting or something. Okay, there. Now, of course, you have to do it in the other direction, too. Like that. See, and you could also have like a huge um, pie crust on the top and uh, with holes in it. There. Anyway, I think you get my idea here. Should maybe have one more. But there you go. There's uh, one pie. And uh, I ran out, but anyway, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more miniature food videos. Bye for now. Hey guys thanks for watching so hope you're having a great day and uh, now you can go out and buy yourself a nice real pie so you can you know reward yourself with something yummy after all your hard work so again thank you so much for watching and for your support I appreciate it a whole big bunch bye for now